If UPS manages to win this battle and secure a cheap labor force in their drivers, that's hundreds of thousands of drivers. If UPS achieves that, that will be a signal to other mega carriers and big trucking companies that cheap labor, cheap drivers are going to be the way to go in the near future. UPS has accomplished it. Other big carriers, other mega carriers will want to accomplish that. Now, cheap trucking isn't brand new to trucking anyway. It's already been flirted with by the mega carriers, and that was the basis for their, their lease operator program, their, their lease to purchase, to drive, to buy, to, to lose their money program, because it, it, was, it was a form of achieving cheap labor for trucking companies. Lease a truck to the driver, the driver pays the cost of the truck, he pays the cost of the fuel, he pays the cost of the maintenance, he pays all the costs, he throws in his labor for free, and the trucking company wins. The trucking company gets free trucks, cheap labor. They loved it, they couldn't go wrong. If you want to know more about why I don't like lease operator programs, watch this video. Sean O'Brien and the Teamsters have already figured out the angle of big business here. They already understand that this is about cheap labor and that's why they're trying to turn this around. And if they're successful in their battle, then they can go on to try to unionize other big cheap corporations like Amazon and it will be a win for the Teamsters and it will be a win for Amazon as well. And after that, who knows, maybe they can go on to unionize more and more of the mega carriers that mistreat and pay their drivers so poorly. The Canadian and the American trucking industries employ millions of drivers. And with owner-operator programs going the way that they are, the cost of a truck keeps increasing. Every year it becomes more and more the cost of operating the truck becomes more and more with the higher fuel prices and the emissions equipment that's required now. More and more owner-operators are going to drop out and more and more of them are going to become company drivers. With the truck driver pool set to increase because of this, I don't want to see millions of truck drivers become a cheap labor force for big business. GP Transco is a Midwestern carrier that pays its drivers very well. First year drivers with GP Transco earn between 80 and $95,000. They've got full benefits, a W-2 package, a 401k with a match, they're driving new equipment. It's a great place to work. GP Transco hires owner operators as well. Check them out at gptransco.com. No matter what happens next in the battle between UPS and the Teamsters, it will be a signal to the rest of corporate America in trucking as to the trend on how to pay drivers for the next 10 years to come. Now, I don't know about you, but I'd rather see more truck drivers and their families earning over $100,000 a year and fewer billionaires on Wall Street like Jeff Bezos and the investors at BlackRock and Vanguard. There's an old saying that goes, you get what you pay for. So if this supply chain is so vital to us, and we know now that it is, I question the wisdom of powering that supply chain with cheap labor and 150% turnover rate. Truck drivers were upper middle income earners before deregulation. Since deregulation, big trucking has been tearing that wage down and down and down. The Teamsters see this, they want to turn that whole thing around so drivers are making better money again. And if the Teamsters win this battle, and I suspect that they will, millions of underpaid truck drivers will then look to their paychecks and then start considering working for the Teamsters and becoming unionized drivers so they can improve their wages. No matter what happens in this battle, it's going to be a sign of things to come. So it pays to pay attention to it. It's been reported to us by UPS workers that the UPS trucks arrive from the factory, from the dealers with factory air conditioning and UPS corporate then goes ahead and has that air conditioning unit ripped out of all these trucks. Who would want to work for a corporation or corporate America that treats its people like that? Stay safe. I know who I'm voting for in this battle between the Teamsters and UPS. Who are you voting for? Keep the rubber side down 
and I'll see you on the backhaul.